Hachis, Kaisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day ones, all of my foundation subscribers. All of my new subscribers, thank you so much. You are appreciated. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you, or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. Okay, Sagittarius, this is a general energy check-in. It's not going to resonate with all of you because there's a lot of you in the collective. So take what resonates with you and discard the rest. If this is not your reading, that's okay. Click the notification button. I'm sure Spirit will have something for you at another time. Or feel free to book me for a personal reading. All that information and more is located in my description box. Thank you all that have been keeping my ass busy with these personal readings. Uh, a huge shout out to all of those who participated in the two free reading giveaways. And a huge shout out to the winners. So uh, the winners for the contest are posted on my Instagram and on the community board. Okay, Sagittarius, as you can see, cards have already been shuffled and drawn. I'm going to pull clarifying cards with you, though, so um, we'll pull them together. So you have here, you have Seven of Wands in reverse, Three of Wands, and Seven of Swords. Spirit, please clarify Seven of Wands in reverse. Wow. I want it to come out. Okay. Let's grab this clarify three of ones. Spirit, please clarify seven of swords. So for seven of wands in reverse, Sagittarius, we have two of water. This is also like the lover's card. You have seven of fire in reverse. There you are. Some of you could have been dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But you have nine of water in reverse. It looks like in the past, Sagittarius, you wanted some kind of success with someone, but it didn't happen. You loved somebody. Yes, you did. You love someone very deeply. But you weren't using your intuition with someone. You were just... You were having a hard time letting somebody go. This person could have embarrassed you in some way. They caused some kind of anxiety. But there was some kind of hesitation as well. So it's like... You may have wanted to move the relationship to a higher level of commitment. Someone wanted to move in with somebody... Someone wanted to get married or at least be proposed to. But there was something Sagittarius about you not using your intuition. Because I feel like this person had done things to you, Sagis, that you, you hadn't fully forgiven them. It's, it's, I feel like it's... Uh, if you don't trust some, how do you love someone you don't trust? Or how can you be with someone you don't trust? Because you love someone, but you love this person very, very much. But there is just some things that you, you haven't gotten over with this person. And for some of you, Sagittarius, I feel like this is just you not getting over someone. This could have been someone's already moved on from you. And you just had a hard time letting them go. I also feel Sagittarius, for some of you, this is the cross watcher. Like, they, they loved you. They loved you very much. But they weren't using their intuition. They hesitated to come towards you, Sagittarius. They weren't using their intuition. Their intuition could have been blocked because of something that happened in the relationship that they had not forgiven you for. There was some kind of hurt that was caused and it, 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 it's like it cut really deep. You know, you know how that expression, oh, it's not that deep. Yes, it was. 
to this person or to you, Sagittarius, it was very deep. It really hurt what this person did or what happened. Someone wouldn't could have had a, a baby scare with someone else and ruin your relationship. It just wasn't the same again after that. Someone could have chose the wrong person because they weren't using their intuition and now they're kicking themselves because now they don't have success with you. Now they can't come towards you. The love that they were looking for that they thought they, they would have found in someone else or they were supposed to have with someone else, they realized that it was with you the whole time. As I feel, Sagis, that I'm feeling both energies. You and the person you were dealing with had a hard time letting each other go. There's a lot of indecision here. Should I go for it or no? I love them, but there's a, there was a lot of anxiety, a lot of doubt. Is this really going to work? Is, it, is this going to work? Sorry about that. Is this going to work this time around? But there's love here. It's definitely uh, making heart over head decisions. Because someone was just so in love with somebody that they just were not listening or paying attention to what was really going on. Or, or um, paying attention to little cracks in the foundation. It's like you deal with those things before you build. Because they only get bigger. They just fester. They just grow. So you want to deal with those things. And it's like if you're in a relationship where things have happened and no one's really sat down and discussed them and, and healed from them and moved on from them, you have uh, people holding resentment towards each other. And resentment's a motherfucker. Yes, it is. Resentment grows into other things. And it all, it all adds up to problems. Yes. Because you have here three of wands. Sagittarius, someone knows that they, I feel like they, they feel like they're ready to put in the work now with you. Mm -hmm. Someone wants to start the process of rebuilding something with you. And because they've been questioning, someone's been questioning their habits, their influences. Um, just the way how their life is in general, the way how they're living. They know that they need to make changes. And this is someone who they know that they did not deal with you the way how they were supposed to deal with you. I feel too, Sagittarius, this is you just doing what's best for you. Looking at your life and the things that you need to change and improve on now that you're not in this situation ship anymore or this relationship anymore with anyone. And you're being practical about how you can rebuild. There are some things about you that you need to drop and some things you need to add. But you're being realistic about things. You're being real with yourself. And you're learning things too. Some of you could have started new businesses or started some, um, created some stream of income that you're working on slowly but surely. Mm -hmm. Slow and steady wins the race, Sagis. But what you're doing is you're, you're making the right moves for yourself. You're doing the right thing too. And you're asking the right questions. You know, I always say when you ask yourself the right questions, you get the right answers. Because you're looking at areas of your life that you need to improve on. And you're putting the work in to do that now, Sagittarius. Now, what you have coming towards you, you have seven of swords. There's someone who may be coming towards you, Sagis, who's not, they're very sneaky. You have to watch out for this person. Because you couldn't have anything. There was no union in this relationship with this person. Now it was, there was love. You did love this person. And this person did love you too, but they did not show up. Um, <sighs> Excuse me. <laughs> they don't want me to say it but I'm going to say it 
it's like this person showed up to the you're working they showed up to the site with no tools no lunch bag no nothing like they were just there they know that this person also knows that they were hiding some kind of chaotic or chaos in their life conflict in their life this person doesn't know who they really are they don't know what they really want for their life and they were hiding that from you this person's also having money problems Sagittarius they may be putting on this front to other people that they have their shit in order and it's not they're having money problems they're having issues with uh, they could be going through an identity crisis right now I'm hearing midlife crisis but someone's coming towards you Sagittarius who is they're trying to hide what's really going on in their life from you. <laughs> they may try to play it cool with you too. Like, oh yeah, you know, I'm good. Life's good, you know. <laughs> Sagis. But inside, they are, they're so in love with you. And they so want another chance. Yeah, they do. They want to move forward. They're hoping that you would give them another chance. But they're trying to hide it. That they feel like they have nothing without you. They feel disconnected without you in their life. Absolutely, they do. Mm -hmm. Someone is hiding from you, uh, Sagittarius, that they're not happy without you in their life. And they want an absolute brand new beginning with you. Hmm. Aw, Saggy. Let me see. Is there any more messages, Spirit? Is there any more messages? Okay, I'm going to use the Oracle deck. Spirit, is there any more messages for Sagittarius? It's just, you know, Sagis. This person loves you. But they just haven't... You could have gotten a relationship with someone who had not fully healed from a relationship they were in before you. And this person wasn't using their... You both weren't using your intuition. Because your intuition was like, give them some time to heal. Give yourself time, right? Or, I know you like this person, Saggy. Or, I know you like Saggy. But give yourself time to heal and get over what you need to get over before you get into a relationship. Because if you get into a relationship with Sagittarius now, you're not going to you're not gonna show up the right way. This person knows these things now. They know what they that what they need to do better. But Sagittarius, this person that's coming towards you, you left this person. And they are hiding the fact that they are not happy without you. And they really 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 someone is begging me to beg you <laughs> for another chance. This person loves you. You make them feel all gooey inside and have butterflies in their stomach. And it's it's really like first love vibes, like um, that honeymoon phase vibes. Like this person feels like that with you all the time. They want to get that back. Mm -hmm. They want to get that back. Spirit, is there any other messages? Is there any other messages? For Sagittarius. Patience. This is happening in divine timing. That's what I'm feeling, you know. I feel like Sagittarius, this wasn't a bad person. They just, uh, they rushed things. Mm -hmm. They rushed the wrong things. They should have been focused on their healing, or you should have been focused on your healing, Sagittarius. Put the energy where it goes. And, it, and now this time around, Spirit's like, just everything's happening when it should, how it should. This is about being patient. This is about a, a higher, this is a higher connection. Mm -hmm. Like, a, high, this is a higher connection. This is a divine connection. Hmm. Sagittarius, I'm going to do um, an extended for this. If you are want to know the outcome of this, what happens, if you get back with this person...
trying to hear from if I should do the extended or not. I want to do the extended. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it here. I'm gonna leave it here. Okay, well, I'm gonna pull one last card of guidance and advice. This is from the Whispers from Within Oracle deck. You're being asked to be patient, Saji. <laughs> Someone's in love with you, Sagittarius, and they're hiding it. Mm -hmm. They want to play all cool, like Mr. Swag, right? Or Miss Swag, like, ah, oh, that doesn't bother me, whatever. They're fucking lying, okay? Someone feels like they have nothing, then they're nobody without you in their life, Sagittarius. Look at this, breakthrough. Focus on the outcome of your desires today, okay? That's why Spirit's like, what, what, you, what do you want, right? You need to figure that out so that you can bring those things in. Have a bit more patience with the process and don't give up. You got double confirmation on being patient, Sagittarius. Notice synchronicities as signs that a breakthrough is near, okay? And that's what I feel like. There is a new beginning here. I just feel like some things need to be done in the meantime, between time. Keep an open mind as your hard work will pay off in ways that are unimaginable right now. And that's what I feel like, Sagis. A lot of you, you're in this, um, this energy right now where you are starting to work on something, starting to create something. Something that's good for you. Mm -hmm. Something that's going to help you to create stability, uh, more routine, more structure in your life more um, bad not even not bad habits getting rid of bad habits replacing them with better ones getting rid of um, bad influences replacing them with better ones like you're in the process it's like the beginning of making some really necessary changes that are going to help you in the long term in ways that you can't even imagine allow spirit to figure out the how to your breakthrough so don't worry about this don't worry about this situation with this person, okay? Spirit's like, don't bother with the anxiety and trying to figure out or trying to uh, figure out what's going to happen, how it's going to happen, when it's going to happen, where it's going to Spirit's like, just focus on what you're doing now, getting your life in order. Mm -hmm. That's it. This will happen when it's supposed to happen. Focus on you. Do what's best for you right now. Hmm. Okay, Sagis, this is what I have for you. If any of this resonates, smash that like button. If not, that's cool another time. With that being said, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.